the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Amendment to HR 7 offered by Ms. Del Bene of Washington. Page 5, line 18. Strike. Without objection, the amendment will be considered as read, and the gentlewoman is recognized for five minutes on her amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my amendment would insert an ex exception to the bill that ensures that a pregnant woman diagnosed with cancer who needs life-saving treatment that is incompatible with continuing her pregnancy would be able to receive appropriate care. Unfortunately, this bill no, fails to consider the real circumstances and complications women can face dur during pregnancy. An abortion is a medical decision that should be made between a woman, her family, and her doctor. Whether they are federal employees on federal employee health benefits or women who purchase insurance plan from state health care exchanges, all women should have the option to pursue life-saving treatment before carrying a pregnancy to term. According to the National Cancer Institute at the National Institutes of Health, breast cancer is the most common cancer in pregnant women, occurring in about one in 3,000 pregnant women. There are very aggressive forms of cancer that require immediate chemotherapy and radiation that are incompatible with pregnancy. Each patient is different, and legislators simply cannot know the circumstances of every pregnancy and should not interfere in personal private medical decisions. While this bill provides a narrow exception for a woman who is in danger of death unless abortion is performed, my amendment is an important clarification to ensure that women are not forced to delay life-saving cancer treatment that is incompatible with continuing a pregnancy. These are decisions that must be based on science and health, and they are questions of life and death that, women require, that require women to have the ability to consult with their health care providers to determine the proper course of treatment. Government does not belong in these decisions. Politics should never come between a patient's relationship with her doctor, and I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and with that, I yield back my time. The chair thanks the gentleman and recognizes himself in opposition to the amendment. The bill establishes an exception to the, provision, to, to the prohibitions on abortion funding for cases of rape and incest and when necessary to save the life of the mother. Insofar as cancer presents a life-threatening situation in any case, the bill text already exempts it, and an abortion would be, could be performed and federally funded. By adopting this amendment, it would invite courts to read the base text of the life exception as having previously not allowed for a life exception when the underlying illness is cancer, which makes no sense. Adopting this amendment would invite courts to read the base text of the life exception as doing something it does not do. That could actually cause federal programs that currently fund abortions to save the life of the mother under existing policies to actually stop funding life of the mother abortions in any cancer case. This amendment would expand the Hyde Amendment exceptions. Such language has never been part of the Hyde Amendment or any parallel provision for federal employees or military hospitals. It is not only unnecessary but also potentially dangerous, and I oppose the amendment accordingly. The question occurs on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Washington. All those in favor respond by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Opinion of the chair, the noes have it, and the amendment is not agreed to. Ask for a recorded vote. A recorded vote has been requested pursuant to the chair's authority under committee rule 2J. Further proceedings on the amendment are postponed. Yeah, but we don't, we want to resume the no, vote. No, just under. resume the vote, open it back yeah. up and ask if okay. So when we uh, moved to rolling votes, we were in the midst of consideration of the vote on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee. Uh, those members who were here at that time, votes are recorded. Uh, those members who are not recorded uh, may record at this time, and the clerk will call the rolls of those who have not yet voted. Mr. Smith of Texas. Mr. Issa. Mr. Labrador. Mr. Holding. Mr. Holding votes no. Mr. Conyers. Mr. Nadler. Mr. Nadler votes aye. Mr. Scott. Ms. Lofgren. Aye. Ms. Lofgren votes aye. Ms. Jackson Lee. Mr. Cohen. Aye. Mr. Cohen votes aye. 
Mr. Johnson. Mr. Gutierrez. Ms. Bass. Ms. Bass votes aye. Mr. Jeffries. Mr. Jeffries votes aye. Are there other members who have not voted who wish to vote? Um, gentleman, the gentleman from Ohio. Mr. Jordan votes no. The gentleman from Florida. Mr. DeSantis votes no. The gentleman from North Carolina, I think, has already voted no, but the clerk will. Mr. Coble votes no. The gentleman from Texas. Mr. Gomert votes no. Mr. Chairman, how am I, how am I recorded? Mr. Deutsch votes aye. Uh, I, Mr. Deutsch votes no. I vote aye. Mr. Deutsch votes aye. aye. Gentlewoman from California. Ms. Chu votes aye. Clerk will report. Mr. Chairman. Well, this is a gentleman from New York seek recognition.